salute you in this greeting. I want to let you know that your work is valued. I want to let you know that we do not take for granted the work that you do day in and day out. And to you, Mr. Chairman, when it came, the Chairman of the Advisory Board told me I, I'm like Santa Claus. So I look, don't quit. My belly say belly get it big. He said, no, he's Santa Claus because we come here once a year. <laughs> here. So I thought a little bit better. But to you, I want to thank you for that very insightful report. That report reminds us why I feel a, a sense of pleasure parting with my money. We don't usually like to part with our money. But when you hear the report from the chairman, and you hear the work being done, and like the, like the blessing of the rain that comes now, the Salvation Army is like a blessing to the people. You know, we thought that it is just about the hostel, Mr. Chair, but then we learn it's about lessons. It's about counseling. It's about all the other work that's being done day in and day out. The meals provided, the meals delivered. And I can, I'll tell you a quick story. When I was a little boy, my mom Trump sent me through town. I used to hear the bells. I don't know where you ran. I get that shower of blessings. And please do not let the best man in Barbados and the best man in the world, the, Royal, the Barbados Police Service man. Don't let them. I, I remember going through town. And you hear this thing, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. And as a little boy, so why these people asking for this money? What are they doing with the money? And as I got older and I get to learn what the organization is about, I, I am now proud to be someone who can support in more than one way the organization. And that, and that is not two ways about it. And that's why I want to thank the media also for being here to get the message out. There are a lot of people who profit from pain. But I believe it is time that we are propelled by positivity. And I believe that the message of the Salvation Army, and I do believe I have the ear of the Minister of People Empowerment, to be able to, to, to speak to the ministry, to be able to give some more assistance. But that's for another time and another place. I also want to thank Mr. Andrew World and all the corporate sponsors, the Sandy Lane Trust, of course, Red uh, Advertising and so on. And the Master Assembly, who is also a mentor of mine, he said, you know, to get the number for Zucchini. And I get Zucchini number because we need to hear some music. But my good friend from the city, I can make sure he gets his contact to as well to make sure that we are in contact after this, Mr. Mr. Master of Ceremonies. And to the police band, as I said, another mentor, Mr. Matt Fingal. I remember the time I introduced the band in Independence Square, and I said, the best band in the world. And he called me later the night time, and he said, I hope that you did not just say so for saying so, say Because I've traveled the world, and I've been backed by bands, and I've been backed by the Barbados Police Service Band, and it is not hyperbole to say it is the best band in the world, ladies and gentlemen. So the reality is that, as, as our Prime Minister likes to say, we are surrounded in a time of superlatives. We have the driest and longest droughts, the hottest uh, heat waves, the wettest storms, the freakiest freak storms, the most dangerous pandemics. But that is on the negative side. I want us to reflect in this time of cheer on the superlatives and the positive. We have one of the best organizations in the Salvation Army. We got one of the best fans in the world in the Barbados Police Service. We got one of the most caring ministers and government in Ministry of People Empowerment. So we have superlatives on the positive side as well. So in closing my remarks, I want to say to everyone, Last year, I made an appeal that we go beyond our target and our aim, and I understood that that, that was met. So when it's nice, you've got to do it twice. So I am saying again, I am appealing to Barbadians to give a little more. Our Prime Minister again always says, if there's one person, one in five, living in economic vulnerability, I mean there are four and five not. And we call on the four and five in five to give a little more. So this year, I appeal once again to every Barbadian. Remember the story of the lady who gave her last, a little for you sake. I call on all Barbados, corporate Barbados, average Barbados, those following online, those that be hearing of my voice, to give a little bit more. So we can exceed that 850. Again, we're going for 1 million Barbados dollars to keep on the work that we are doing today. So when you hear that little bell in the ear, and you know it's the season of cheer. Go a little further and cheer. Let your heart open up. And let that bell ring not in your ear, but in your heart. And with your money, you shall part. 
and give a little more to the Salvation Army. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to be here at this catalog. I do enjoy the rest of your ceremony. I thank you.